If we can't apply what we teach to the real world, why are we teaching it? How do we capitalise on the growth of K-pop and how do we integrate this music into uh, an economics curriculum? So we were looking for bands that had uh, global impact, but also songs that have economic meaning and content. Because um, ultimately what we need to do is find a way to convey the economic principles in the music. So the three bands we chose are BTS, Blackpink and EXO, CBX. BTS would probably be top five in the world at the moment in terms of impact and sales. I think they were second behind Drake last year. I'll give an example of how you can use their song No, which was released I think 2013 or 2014, to illustrate the concept of externalities. So you begin by asking the students, you know, why is education important to you? And they typically focus on internal benefits, getting a better job, making money, okay? So then I say, okay, so you benefit from your education. How does society well, does society benefit from education? And the answer is obviously, well, absolutely. High levels of human capital, scientific progress, faster economic growth, higher living standards, all of these are societal benefits. So if your selfish decision, your personal decision to um, undertake more education has major spin-offs for society. So the internal benefit is what you derive from education. The external benefit is what society derives from your education. So that's the externality. An externality can be good or bad. In this case, it's good. Then I play them the uh, BTS clip. And this clip is about externalities to do with education, but they're not positive. These kids suffer. There's high rates of suicide, mental fatigue, Ill illness, emigration. A lot of people leave South Korea because they, they simply can't cope. The students can see firsthand here that, that um, something that we perceive to be a positive can have negative connotations as well. And by talking about the global aspect, what they're seeing is that the uh, decision to pursue education at all costs, the pressure that these kids are under, has long-term external costs for, for the Korean society as well. Now, at the moment, we're in COVID-19. I've got online students in about 30 different countries, many of whom have English as a second or third language. Maybe we can tap their culture. You know, it'd be great to get ideas from across the globe in future. And you get so much new creativity because how cool is it actually watching a foreign language clip having an English subtitle so you know what's going on and then discovering that economics is in all cultures that it's not it's not a it's not an Anglo thing what we're doing here is really opening up the possibility and making our courses more accessible to people across the world basically we want them to become better students more informed citizens and more accepting tolerant diverse people in the workforce